Hey guys, this is Pokejant here and coming today with some Sword and Shield Booster Packs, um, base set packs at that. And that will be today's opening. I think I'm gonna open about 15 of these um, Sword and Shield Packs. And then for an awesome reveal is I found one of these Pokeballs at the store and I'm gonna open this up. It's a little messed up and dented, but that's okay. Hopefully the cards inside are still good art and still are still in good condition. Sorry about that. Um, but let's go ahead and get cracking with this. Let's get the sword and shield pack going. Um, I do like the art on the pack, at least for the Lapras, because you know I do like OG Pokemon and the Snorlax in the background. V Max is pretty cool. Um, I believe the cards to pull from these packs um, will be the Zacian V and Zamazenta V, Secret Rare. Um, I think they're probably going for about uh, probably like 30 to 40 bucks each. So if I can pull one of the two, that would be pretty sweet. Right there, we got a Quillfish, a Energy Switch, Doppler. Uh, uh, I can't even say that. Maractus? Oh, I think when you look at it better, it's pretty cool looking. Look at that. Um, Mudbray. And <laughs> kind of this looks like a funny looking Pokemon. Uh, Ponyard. Pretty cool. Scorn Bunny. Looking all chill like he's on his march. Frayed march. Uh, Nicket. Reverse Hollow Snow. And, ooh, we got a uh, uh, holographic copper, I can't say that, copper jaw. It's pretty cool. Not a bad start for the first pack opening. Let's do that right there. Let's go ahead and open this next pack. If I can. There we go. Nice and neat. Good opening. Put that over there. Let's do that to the side. One, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, energy card right off the bat. Um, big charm. Got a seeking. Ooh, that was awesome. Um, I like seeking. Seeking, like I said, is one of the original 150 Pokemon. If you are um, not new to new to Pokemon, you already know this, but if you are new, he's probably 150. Goldene is his lower form. You can kind of see right there in the corner. Um, I do like <laughs> I do like fish Pokemon. I don't know why. I just do. I like fishing. I like fish Pokemon. Maybe that's just the reason. Uh, Thwacky, a Thobble, a Maractus, a Mudbray, a Ponyard, a Scorn Bunny. That's kind of like falling in the same direction as the last pack. But I got a Reverse Hollow Ball Toy, and then for the V version, I got a Storm Johnner. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Two good packs back to back. That is pretty nice. Um, that usually doesn't happen too often. Um, I try not to jinx myself, you know. I do obviously prefer opening good packs over not so good packs, but you know, it is what it is. You get what you get, and that's probably what's the thrill about Pokemon whenever you are opening card packs because you never know what card you may pull. It might be the card you're looking for and it might be a card that surprises you. Energy, Overgrass, Air Balloon, uh, Pal Pad, Choodle. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Billbug, Rhyhorn. I like Rhyhorn, one of the OG. Uh, Clobopus. Goldeen, see Goldeen seeking or seeking it. I gotta show this for one second. See Goldeen seeking. Awesome. Oh, Rhyhorn Reverse Hollow. That's pretty sweet. And then for the rare, oh, more Pekka. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like a little Pikachu almost in a way. All right, let's go on with this next pack. Let's see if we can get this going. Four. Energy card, Pokemon Center Lady, kind of reminds me of Nurse Joy, you know, Brock back in the old days. 
Yeah, for Pablo's got any jewel. Ooh, different version of Rhyhorn. That's pretty cool. This one he looks more intense, like he's ready to ready to go, ready to be into battle. The Dutry Hill, Reverse Hollow. That's pretty sweet. And then for the rare, I got a grab lock. That's pretty cool. Um next pack. Let's get this going. Side one, two, three, four. Good to go. Transformer energy card. Ooh, Aurora energy it looks pretty nice. I like the artwork on that card. You know, Dead Wool, Quillfish, Glossfly. I can't even say Goss, Gossler. Oh, they're going in a different version too. That's pretty nice. Uh, Diglett, a, a Scorupi, a uh, Hoot Hoot. A Roselia, which looks pretty nice. I like the artwork on that one. A little red and blue flower. And then Cloister for the rare. Not too bad. If you have any, if you see any Pokemon that I've opened, <laughs> just go ahead, like that you like, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what Pokemon. Um, that you like that I pulled so far if there's one that's caught your eye um, They don't always have to be a secret rare and everything just for you to like certain Pokemon like I do um, I'm like anybody will prefer to have a secret rare over some of these but like there's some Pokemon that you just appreciate You know like who can appreciate Sudowoodo right there? You can look at him. He looks awesome Eldegoss, Joltik, Silicobra, Blipbug Goldeen, Yamper, <laughs> reminds me of my little doggy. And then Team Yo Grunt for the reverse rare. And then the red card is Crap Locked. Not too shabby. Let's keep this going. <laughs> I've seen this card before. That's pretty cool. The, the um, Galarian. Nita always looks awesome. And we'll get back to that card here in a second. We got energy card, we got citrus berry, quillfish, we got energy switch, that ponita, cottony, a scorn bunny, a silicobra, a yamper, hyper potion, and then for the uh, rare card, look at that. Professor Research. Not too bad. Finally another rare card. I haven't found really many V cards yet in this set. Um, I think there was like a reverse rainbow Lapras card, which I would really love to pull. Um, I think even they have a Snorlax one too. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but um, that would probably be one of the cards that I would really love to pull, Lapras. Um, Snorlax too, because Snorlax, he's pretty cool. I, I loved when um, Ash caught Snorlax, <laughs> and Snorlax has actually been a pretty pow pretty big powerhouse for him um, back in the past. Uh, he's done a lot of work. Uh, Rhyhorn, Rickety, ooh, Krabby. Krabby looks pretty cool. I like the artwork. Look at that. And then we got a Raboot with his boots. And for the rare, uh, Wimscott. Not too bad. Uh, let's get with this next pack and let's see what we can pull. Still, like I said, not really many B cards yet. But that's okay. I'm always happy to get new cards for the collection. Like I said, I really have not been collecting cards um, for a while now. So any card that's new is awesome for me. Um, doesn't have to necessarily be the super rare cards like i said obviously everybody um that's what they want you know that's what they want to get and those are the cards to get if you're collecting especially if you're trying to have kind of like a rare collection but that doesn't make any other cards less i guess you can say important and look at that we got snorlax non-holographic if i had a spirit animal it would probably be snorlax I <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of people can agree. 
um, taking naps and just munching all day, you know, that, that quality of life. Not a care in the world. Let's get that over there. Let's do this. One card down. Getting used to the trick a little bit, at least with these sets. We got an ordinary rod. A bee, a bait, or a bede. A rope boot. Glarian Meowth. A Sizzlepede. A Wooloo. A Grookey. A Sobble. A Ghastly, which is the reverse rare. Pretty awesome. And we got a Lantern. I haven't seen Lantern in a long while. It's a pretty cool card. I like the the two little lanterns. He has hence the name lantern, huh? But he's non-hollow, but that is okay. Um, I always wondered, um, how, like how do we, how do we come up with so many different Pokemon? This must be so hard to create, you know, new seasons and um, to be able to come up with new names. And um, I always wondered how. They, they went about the process, I guess, of naming Pokemon and creating them. You gotta give the uh, Pokemon people crop, or props <laughs> for doing what they do and creating such magnificent cards and uh, Pokemon that we can enjoy, especially throughout the decades. Because Pokemon's been around for quite a while now. Pretty much my whole childhood, to be exact. I got Rickety, a Chulet. And then a frost moth for the hollow. Not too bad. Um, like I said, still would wish to get the V um, Lapras. Um, or the Lapras V Max uh, Rainbow Rare. That would be the pull that I'm looking for. And I do have plenty of the sword um, and shield base pack. So I would think between like maybe. Uh, like 80 packs to 100 packs maybe so hopefully um, in those packs I do will get one um, I've got a ball toy reverse hollow again and <laughs> what's better than one frost moth two frost moths <laughs> that's pretty sick that's cool um, let's see if I can pull something else besides frost moth now I think I got I, got, I think I got him down right now. I don't think I need another one anytime soon. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You're going to get doubles. And, like I said, that's okay. Um, it never hurts to have more than one sometimes. Especially if they're Flareons. If you have watched the first video. <laughs> I think I said that a few times. Um, Flareon, pretty sweet Pokemon. Um, got a book bug. We got the Reverse Hollow Energy Retrieval, and we got the Sandaconda for the Rare card. Not too bad. We got two packs left. So let's see if we can get through these really quick. Uh, quick as I can, at least. Like I said, I'm still not the best pack opener. Uh, not quite yet. To think I would be after opening probably like over a hundred packs by now, but pretty recently. Oh, Hit Molly! Um, I love, I like Hit Molly. Kind of reminds me of that kind of Bruce Lee, you know, in the background. And I think that's like a Hitmon, uh, yeah, Hitmon champ in the background, sitting on that rock. So we're here throwing a roundhouse kick on him. Rare Candy, pretty nice card. Lucky Egg, Diglett, Forcey, Golding, Roselia, Joltik, a Chinchow. Ooh, that'll match my Lantern card. And then um, Wimscott, not too shabby. And let's get to the last pack for this Sword and Shield. And let's see if we can get this open. Oh, I may have saw a V card, but you know, I'm not, I don't know what it is yet. And I know y'all don't know what it is yet, but I know at least this last pack contains something pretty good. Got energy, quillfish, pokey kid. <laughs> that was me when I was younger. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just, I, I do love Pokemon. That's good. That's, I'm honestly really glad that I got back into collecting cards, and I'm actually pretty glad that I could share this experience with y'all. Me getting new cards and um, getting good pulls. Uh, let's just keep it going. Pull another, 
Pokey Gear 3.0. Uh, not too bad. Oh, I thought I saw one, but that is pretty cool for the Glareon Rapidash. I have not seen this card yet. Um, it's probably a pretty common card in this in this packs, so whatever. But I just not have seen it yet. I thought I had a V card, but you know that's just how it goes. It was probably just the back of that uh, trainer code card that I saw that got me too excited. Um, if I could open this, it would be pleasant. And, uh, let's see, gotta give it a good bite. Maybe, maybe that'll do the trick. Or we could just use a little tab that runs down it, which I was not aware of until I just looked at it right now. If that even works. Oh, that's working. There you go, there we go. Let's get this bad boy open. Let's get it open. And voila, three new packs for us to open. And it came with a little foot coin, pokey coin. Turnitar. Not bad. Right, let's see what the packs are. Evolutions packs, Sun and Moon, and Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. Evolutions, Charizard. Obviously, that's the pool I want. Always, always want Charizard, hands down. And that pack kind of came open pretty easily, which is kind of strange. And it kind of has me worried there. That just kind of flew open. If, I don't know if y'all noticed that. I really didn't have to struggle. Uh, let's hopefully, hopefully it's a, uh, I might have messed up the card trick by a little bit. So, um, Electrode, got a trainer card, trainer card, Magmar, awesome. Um, I love the OG Magma card, like, that's cool. I'm missing that. Poliwag, I need to start buying Evolution, just because I love all the old cards that come in the Evolution um, booster packs. Magmite, uh-oh, Seal. Is this any hint? Is this a hint to a Charizard? If this is a hint to a Charizard, comment down right now and say if you think it is. And if it's not, then it is what it is. But oh my gosh, reverse. Or actually, yeah, kind of like a reverse Hollow Me Too. That's pretty sweet. I don't know how, that's probably a, lot, uh, probably a common card, I guess, to get in this set. Maybe since it's just a reverse Hollow, but that is pretty sweet. Um, got me a Me Too card finally again. That is awesome. Um, I don't know, Sun and Moon base packs. Um, I think they had a leaf, uh, Leafy on and maybe like a Glaceon. These are all pretty easy to open packs, which kind of has me concerned. That just like flew open. Um, but I actually did get a pretty decent card out of that one. Maybe it's a three card trick on this one. We'll see. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm just messing up this card trick uh, completely for y'all guys. I'm sorry. Um, we got a, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Big Malasa, Malasada. <laughs> Brione. We got a Crab, a crab Brawler. A uh, Sandal, a Meowth, a Pic Picky Peck. Eevee, which looks awesome. I like appreciate Eevee. We got uh, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Hollow. And we got uh, Masquerade. Not too bad, nothing too crazy yet. And I don't really know what comes into the Guardian Rising packs quite yet. I really not have not looked that up. Um, obviously I wasn't aware of what packs came into that tin Pokeball, but it was glad to see that an evolution came out of it. But like I said, I always, always hope for uh, another Charizard card, um, especially one that looks like the base set Charizard. Like that would be pretty sweet. Um, I guess this one followed the four card trick. Uh, we got a Graveler. Got a Paradise <laughs> Conservation Area. Limscott, Slowpoke. Wishy Washy. Nose Pass, Wimpod. Uh, Gumi. <laughs> oh, uh, Glalie. That's pretty cool. The Reverse Hollow, not too bad. And... A Salgaleo, a Salgaleo non-holographic, but nonetheless, pretty awesome card. And that's basically all the cards that I have for y'all today on this um, episode of the vlog. If you want to see um, 
some of the reverse hollow Mewtwo, pretty cool. Uh, I kind of guess I threw all these cards over here without really noticing. I just love a lot of the base set cards. Um, Frost Moss was probably my um, biggest pull out of these packs. Um, Professor's Research, pretty awesome holographic. Um, I really didn't get much stuff out of these packs uh, as for rare cards, but there's a lot of cards I got uh, out of these packs that are cards that I do not have quite yet. So nonetheless, it's still a pretty good find. But that's pretty much it for today's episode. Like I said, if there's any other um, pack sets, at least recent ones, that I can get for y'all guys, just go ahead and let me know. Um, I would try my best, but I think for the next few videos, it's going to kind of alternate between maybe the Sword and Shield packs, because I do have plenty of extra packs over here. And it's probably going to alternate between that, and I do have a lot of, not really a lot, but I guess you can say I have a, um, a couple packs of the Darkness of Blaze pack still, so maybe I could shoot for that um, Butterfree. Um, we shall see. Um, Butterfree... Um, would be a pretty nice card to acquire, especially um, a rainbow rare, but that's for another video. So as always, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you would like to. This is something you enjoy watching and um, have a good day. Um, keep on collecting. Two thumbs up.